What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Beautiful Brown Baby Doll. And just a few weeks ago, I posted this picture to my social media and you guys immediately asked how I achieved this style. I'm gonna quickly show you guys how I achieved this half up, half down hairstyle that I use the Her Given Hair Coily Type Clip-Ins for. And down in the information section, you can find a link to this hair, but also I have a link to the original video I did a few months ago reviewing this hair. It also has the length, which I used 18 inches and 20 inch clip ends in order to achieve this but down below you can find that original review and also find the links to where you can find the hair but today I'm going to teach y'all how to get this hair look. And the gag of it all is that nearly 100% of my hair is protected. And while I have you guys, go ahead and click that subscribe button to this channel and also my blog channel. Make sure that you join me on all Thursdays and some Sundays for video uploads and click yes to the notification so that you know when I upload. Come on, let's go. So to start this process, I've used a few flexi rods along the top of my head in order to stretch it, not necessarily to get a curl, but just to stretch it a little bit. And along the back, I have big front braids in order to connect the clip-ins and also along the sides just a little bit of hair that's going to blend in. I'm using the Echo Styler Olive Oil Gel and also the Lotta Body Edge Controller, the Long Length Bobby Pins. You'll need brushes and combs if you use that to smooth your hair up. And also here's the hair that I'm using. The wefts have clips on them ranging from three to five clips. And I like using these because you can easily guide yourself throughout your head. I've mixed in 18 and 20 inches inches which gives me a little bit more of a layered feel more like my own hair and this hair is in the most natural color but you can dye these clip-ins safely. I should also mention that my clip-ins have now been washed about four times and I've pulled them apart quite a bit so that's why they give off more of a sheen than a shine which is what I like. I prefer for it to look more like my own hair so it's been pulled apart washed a couple times and I've worn them a couple times so keep that in mind if you get yours and they look a little bit shiny you'll have to play around with them to get them to look more like your own hair. But this is the coily clip-in, so they do look almost like my hair anyway. As you all can see, I am just going ahead and placing them on across my head, starting with small, the three clips on a weft, up to the five clips on a weft, and back down to three and four clips. You just keep building until you have the fullness that you want. And I had two bundles of this when I originally got it, so I'm not quite using Using all of the two bundles but I'm using just enough to make sure it looks very full in the back and you'll have more than enough in your two bundles which I do suggest getting in order to create the style that you want when I'm done I spend some time on it just kind of pulling it apart and using my fingers only to kind of pull the hair apart and make it look more realistic the more you kind of pull at it the better it looks so it gives off more of a coily look and a sheen much like my own hair so that's what I really like about it and then I start to take the flexi rods out again it's not about keeping the curl but it was mainly to stretch my hair a little bit more to make it easy because my hair is always freaking wet so I like to make sure that it's kind of stretched a little bit before I go about pulling it up into a bun and especially before I put this hair over it. So that's all I'm doing here is taking it down and repeating the same step of taking the twist down that was in the flexi rod in order to just kind of create that look. And that's what it looks like. And guys, here I'm just showing you that the only two flexi rods I have not removed are the ones that are with the hair that's going to be blended into the back of the head. Just because I'm focusing on pulling my hair up into a light bun. I'm using the Eco Styler Gel to go along my edge line to make sure that it is nice and sleek, especially before I tie it down with a satin scarf. I want to make sure that those edges go up really nicely and go well into that bun. I'm going to brush it up lightly with my Boar Bristle Brush, which I love. And I place links to all the items I'm using today down below in the information section, so make sure you check them out. I'm also using my ouchless bands. I use like three of them to make sure that my hair is pulled up nicely and it maintains a sleek look. We ain't got time for no buns falling out of our heads today. So we gonna make sure we looking good and we slicked up real nice. From here, I'm simply pulling my hair underneath and creating a crafted bun that's going to be underneath the clip-in hair. So just remember that and make sure you pull it tight enough to stay and make sure you pin it with your bobby pin. And now I'm just gonna put one of the three clip wefts over the bun and clip it in for extra security. For now, you're simply gonna wrap that hair around your own hair and make sure that it continues to craft your bun, but you're really just wrapping it outside of the bun you've already created. And you just continue this 
you're gonna wrap one in front and you're gonna also do one around back. So now I'm taking some of the clip-ins and doing it in the back as well. Usually I find that's all I need, but that's because my hair is pretty thick. But the objective is to make it as big and as extravagant as you would like it to be. Now it's time to pull out that small portion of hair that you would like to blend into the her given hair. I know a lot of people use a wash and go method, but I never do. I'm not really the wash and go girl, but I do use this method, which is just twisting on that flexi rod and using my finger to blend and personally I don't like a whole lot of hair on my face or on the side of me because I always feel like something's crawling on me so I like to take like a little bit of hair and pull the hair back in order for it to kind of stay out of my way and I clip that back that's all I do hair from underneath take it clip your hair back and it holds your hair down so that not all that hair is flying around also, I like how it looks because it helps your hair blend better as well. I like to take out some sides and create my penny curls with some gel. Y'all know how I like to do that. And I spray the hair with just a little bit of water because I find that when I do that with the Her Given Hair and lay my hair down with my satin scarves, my hair lays so much better. It blends in so much better and it gives off a nice sheen and shine and helps the hair look even better up against the Her Given Hair. So I let that set for a while at least two hours or more or overnight even better and this is what you get girl that's what you're gonna be looking like mm hmm fresh to death and I love this style so much I get so many compliments and the best part about it is the hair is realistic it's coily and it's kinky like my own hair and it's not very questionable so lots of people always say well, what did you do to your hair oh my goodness that's so cute so that's what I do and that's what it looks like when you take it down I'm more than happy with the style so down in the comments let me know if you've tried this I know some of you all got it after my first video so let me know what your impressions are what types of styles you're trying with these and also let me know if there's any other style tutorials you would like to see in the future thanks so much for watching guys beautiful brown baby doll Peace.